Am I an arsehole for hiding my family's financial situation from girls I date? There is a huge difference emo. Between crying poor, making your GF pay for everything etc. And just living like a pretty average sort of person and not mentioning coming from money. I'd actually sort of respect you a bit more for making your own way and not mooching exclusively, excessively off the olds. In the other post, the person lied for four years. The girlfriend didn't even know his real name. And the girlfriend got into little debts to pay for textbooks for both of them during the relationship because the guy was pretending to be a poor immigrant. Your case sounds vastly different. If the other guy acted more like you, people wouldn't advise the girlfriend to leave him. My family has money. My dad's advice is, don't tell them specifics until you're sure. I don't know the other post but your way sounds sensible. I think you were wise. Don't take advice from people on Reddit is your best bet. Nah keep doing that, nothing wrong with it at all. You don't want any gold diggers. Sensible mindset. Lying and evading are two different things. NTA. Until the moment your family's money becomes just your money, are you really lying about? anything? Do you 100% know what's in the last will and testament? I know one person whose well-off parents left them nothing. A fair amount to a sibling. And the bulk went to several charities. I understand this. I don't let people know the wealth I or my family has. My wife is the only person I have ever really told. She always knew my family had money. I never claimed otherwise, but not the extent of it, as I live below what I can afford. It was years into our relationship before I put the details on paper in front of her. I don't have a good reason to explain it to most people. I actually think it would come off as rude, even to my close friends, if I did. 38 am here. Been through this. Met her at 26 yo. Her dad ran his own law firm and did very well for himself and his family. I was a broke-ass college kid with over 100k in school debt. A small auto loan. I made $10 per hour doing what I loved. Design. And lived in a double wide with a roommate. She got a stellar job 1100 miles away two months after we started dating. I was head over heels for her knew I wanted to marry her in absolutely no way that money play into it. I followed her to the new city but I'd never been to. And she was fine paying the rent. I made up for it where I could financially as well as kept the tidy house did all the laundry and dishes and so forth. After a few more months of dating. It was 08, 09. So you can guess where the economy was then. A predatory fee structure at Bank of America and a greedy boss who withheld a paycheck two days too. Long threw off all of my finances. I had creditors harassing me and calling me derogatory names and rock bottom was being interrupted. In the middle of my night class to get cussed out by a tow truck driver looking for my vehicle. I almost ended it that night. I broke down to her when I got home but I felt I'd never get out of. This hole and I understood if she wanted to leave me. She paid a few bills for me to get me back on the right track. I made up for it the best I could and I still do to this day. We've been married almost 11 years. Unfortunately. Just after we got engaged. Her nana passed away. Then right before we got married her father passed away unexpectedly. We inherited a lump sum through frugality and smart investments. I have more than 7x ED that money for us. Relationships are about being honest and vulnerable. You lean on each other in your weakest moments to lift each other up. If the only thing that matters to your girl is your debt situation. 
and you're honest to God trying your best to get out of that debt and it's not good enough for her. She's not the right one for you. That is one of the most common fights in all relationships. It's becoming a bigger issue in recent times. It's not new or novel and most everybody experiences issues with it. With any luck it'll be temporary. Share your worries with her. Be vulnerable. If you can't move forward, take it as a learning experience. Move on without her and work on your debt so when the right one comes along it's not as much of an issue. Best of luck to you. Wow. It seems smart. I hope that's my SO's plan. It's been 15 years maybe at 20 we will move into the secret mansion. Your perspective is spot on. People are more shallow than they even know themselves. Good job man. The other dude was the asshole for making her pay like he was poor. You're fine. That's perfectly fine. The fact your parents are wealthy doesn't mean you automatically have access to that wealth. And even if you do, someone shouldn't assume so. Your parents' wealth isn't your girlfriend's business until you're getting an inheritance. Which is, hopefully, gonna be a long while. And even after that she doesn't own any of it and doesn't automatically get a say in how it's spent. So TL. Doctor your parents' money isn't a girlfriend's business. You don't have to let her know. Saying to leave him immediately. Classic Reddit moment right there lol. There's no need for you to discuss this with girls that you're dating. If it gets more serious then sure. You're not living a lie for five years like the other guy. There's so much information out there on everyone that can easily be found out. So hiding it won't help. I'm sure that you'd want to know who you're getting involved with too. You don't need to tell her your situation, just don't lie about it either. Do you have money or do you parents have money? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.